crack, welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs, and thank you so much for joining me today. And you've probably guessed from the title of the video, yes, I have finally found a job. Unfortunately, it's not the kind of job that I really, really want. <laughs> well, obviously it is, like, I really want this job, but, like, it's not one of those jobs that I've been dreaming of. I've applied for tons of jobs on film sets, TV shows, working in studios, editing jobs, things like that, but I, I haven't heard back from any of them. This was the only job that got back to me and they hired me. And I'm really, really happy that I got it. Especially in a time like this with all the COVID stuff that's going on, possible recession on the way and all these things, you know, there really is a lot of uncertainty. And in a time like this, a job was really the last thing that I was expecting to get. But when a job popped up in my area that I thought I was suitable for, like I do with all the other jobs, I applied for it and luckily I got it. And like I said, it's not its not a glamorous job at all, it's not on the film set. It's in Tesco cleaning floors and uh, disinfecting trolleys and baskets and stuff. And I'm actually really enjoying it, the people there are nice. I'm just trying to kind of get a feel for it and see how it's going to be like. It's about 30 hours a week I think and that's going to be 30 hours that I'm going to be away from the channel. But at the same time, I don't want to let it affect this channel. But it has um, already this week because today is actually Saturday. I'm recording this Saturday, not on the Friday. I had this video recorded yesterday and I was just after getting off work and I was a little bit pissed off <laughs> and then I slept on it and you know I kind of had some time to think and <sighs> I was, a, I was a little bit nervous because I was thinking that the money probably might not be that great or whatever and it, it might be close to what I was getting on social welfare. I know it's going to be more but you know, it's kind of like when you when you think I can get so much for sitting at home doing nothing where I can go off and do 30 hours for just a little bit more. It, it's, it's kind of annoying but that really isn't the way for me to look at it. So there's other benefits to having the job that I'm actually going to be able to do now. So if you've watched my channel for a while you'll know that I want to make videos, I want to make films, short films, documentaries, things like that and like while being on social welfare I'm not legally able to go to people and say listen I'll make a video for you here's an idea I have blah 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 give me money I can't do that on social welfare but now that I actually have the job I'm legally able to earn money as a self-employed person so the other day I was talking to an accountant who I guess is going to become my accountant which is probably the most adult thing I think I've ever done in my entire existence he said to call him next week and we'll arrange a time for me to go in and to get registered for VAT and to legally set up my company which is going to be Lukewarm Volcano which will be a video production company and you can google it but the website is down at the minute for maintenance the reality of it is that I just can't afford to have it up right now it's just wasting money if I can't actually get clients with it so as soon as the company is registered and all that and I'm registered for VAT that website will be up and I will be trying to get clients so that I think is a brilliant thing that's gonna come from it because this is what I wanted to do and legally I couldn't do it while I was on social welfare and like I've had to turn away people people have come to me and said listen I want to make a video could you do it for X Y and Z and I'm like listen I can't do it at all because if I take the money off you then social welfare are gonna be down my throat asking me where it's from and all this stuff I'd rather just do it legally and so that like like because I'm so ignorant to tax and business and stuff like that like I'm, I'm literally just like like feeling my way through what to do how to set up a company properly and stuff like that like a blind man at an orgy I was going to have to feel things out yeah I don't know it's kind of it's kind of it's and I'm really thankful for the job as well because I know so many people have lost their jobs because of the COVID and, and those people may never get those jobs back again so like I really do appreciate being able to get a job and being able to give the opportunity to just make some extra money and to be able to follow a new path so because of the job like I said I'm able to now we're an extra money and I'll be able to get my production company up and running and next week I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get it done and I'm really really excited about that and even though like I might only be earning a little bit more than I would be on social welfare it's given me more opportunities to be able to branch out and to be able to do the bigger things that I wouldn't be able to do on social welfare but that's the challenge I guess like you know this is what I want to do if I really want to do it then this is what I'm up against and I have to do it and yeah a big part of it as well is just adjusting to the schedule of the new job. When I get home, I'm literally like, like my brain is fried, my feet feel like they need to be replaced, and it's just, you know, it takes a bit of adjusting and getting used to it, but I'm getting there. I have to get up at about quarter past five in the morning. It's been grand so far, the work itself is fairly easy, it's just that there's a lot of walking in it, but like, I, I want to do that anyway because I want to lose weight. So that could be another benefit to having the job, you know, plus it gets me out of the house, it earns me a little bit of extra money. I'm interacting with people on some level, you know, and plus it's given me the opportunity to be able to go freelance legally, and <laughs> that's something I had no clue about doing before. I tried to get onto the back to work enterprise scheme, but because COVID happened, they literally 
called me up a few weeks after I applied and said this is shut down until further notice. But that wasn't to be. So this is the other path that has uh, came up in front of me and it's the one I'm going to take. I know it's going to be a lot of hard work. It's probably going to be a lot of sleepless nights and stress and yeah, but like... I, I took a break for a while just to kind of get my head together and to get, yeah, just to kind of get a clearer vision of what I want to do. Clearer vision of what I want to do. So yeah, when I realized that I could actually do this because of the job, I mean, it, it makes sense. You know, it really does. If it helps me make bigger videos, get actual clients in the door and get my work out there and get some money coming in, that money will feed back into the YouTube channel. It'll feed into all my other videos and it will just help me to grow. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. I want to grow as a creator, as a person, even an entrepreneur, because like I have lots of ideas and I'd love if I could follow through on them, you know, and a lot of the time the reason I don't is because it's usually funds or it's because it looks too big to even start, you know, and because there's no money or because of experience or whatever. So hopefully by doing this, it will give me more experience, it will give me more money and it will just set the ball rolling on bigger things. So yeah, it's just mad to think that I actually have a job. It's weird to wake up in the morning and be like, oh yeah, I have a purpose now, kind of. <laughs> and it's just nice to break that cycle, you know, and get out of the house, get out of the routine. And it would be easy for me to turn around and say, well, you know, it's 50, 60 hours, whatever it's going to be for an extra 30 hours work. That's like two hours an hour. That's slave labor. You can look at it like that and it, it'd be right if, if that's how you wanted to take it. But I'm not going to look at it like that. I know there's a lot of hard work ahead. I know that I'm going to have to work these 30 hours just so that I can have the benefit of being able to go freelance and do all these things and the thing is while I'm working those 30 hours I might be standing there polishing baskets or wiping trolleys but in my head I'm thinking of ideas and I'm thinking how I'm going to do things and what I actually want to do. The exercising and the walking as well is just going to have a knock on effect on that. Yeah I think it's going to be good, I'm excited about it. I am nervous as fuck to be honest uh, about like going in and registering the company and making it official and all that because then that's, <laughs> you know, that's kind of like the start of it, you know. Another good thing about this is that because I now have a constant income, I'm going to be able to get a loan from the credit union and hopefully be able to buy a car, a new camera possibly, and be able to travel a little bit as well. And that again is going to all tie back into the vlog and make it all better, make all the videos better. Yeah, it's just going to be... I don't know. I honestly don't know how it's going to be. But I'm just... Yeah, I'm just trying to spread out and do bigger things you know and I think this is probably the way to do it because I can't see any other way and um, the way I was doing it all along there was just absolutely no forward motion at all just being stuck on social welfare trying to get onto that enterprise scheme was really the only lifeline that I had and when that shut off I was kind of thinking well what can I do now and all along like as well I, I had been applying for jobs this job that I got is probably the third or fourth job out of the hundreds that I've applied for in the past year and a half it's the third or fourth one that actually got back to me and replied I hadn't been employed since 2018 October 2018 and the thing about living in Kilrush it's an unemployment black spot so there's not many jobs around here and I, that's why I feel really really lucky to actually get this because I know a like as I said, there's a lot of people out there losing their jobs and there's a lot of people out there that don't know where their life is heading and, you know, their career has gone down the drain because of something that's completely out of their control. That's really sad, so I'm, I'm happy that I have this. And I know I'm going to have to break my balls in order to get to where I want to be, but that's what I want to do. And if I have a mental breakdown along the way, then that will make an interesting vlog. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm... A lot of different things, but I'm mostly excited and I'm going to try and stay positive and I'm going to try and just keep thinking about the end goal of where I actually want to be. And the thing is, when I know there's a lot of work ahead of me and I try to focus on something, I have a technique that I use and it's called turning myself into a tool where I literally shut off the part of me that has conscious thought <laughs> and I just use my body to do what needs to be done. I literally ignore myself and just do the thing. It's hard to do. It's hard like to get yourself to that point of motivation where you just have to just close down and do it. But once you get there, you'll do it. That's the thing. And every time I get there, I do the thing I need to do. Focus is what I need. I need to stay focused. I need to have my eye on the prize. It's just mad to think that by getting this job, it opens up so many doors ahead of me. This is like a stepping stone. Even though there's like another level of work to it, the benefits I could reap from it could be amazing further down the road. So that's my news for today. I hope it was worth the wait. I posted on Facebook yesterday saying I have some good news. Uh, I hope it's worth the wait and I hope it was. It just feels good to talk about it and to kind of process it 
openly because um, yeah it's you know, I, I kind of will it into existence you know I kind of make it a reality by speaking about it and it kind of puts it out there and you know makes it kind of possible or sends the feel sin I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and I, I'm just hopeful for where this could go and we'll see that's all we can do is just wait and see and I know this might seem like I'm whining a bit where I'm like, oh no, woe is me, I got a job and now life is hard. No, that's not how it's not how it is at all. You know, it's just gonna be tough and it is what it is and for you'll see what happens. <laughs> you know, you're gonna come along with me for the journey and you'll see any success I have, any failures I have, or maybe less of the failures, but you're gonna see it, so yeah. That's gonna be it for today. I really do appreciate you watching. I'll be back next Friday with another video. I've been watching a lot of TV since COVID started, so it's gonna be something TV related. So yeah, if you're new to my channel and you like my videos, feel free to subscribe down below, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and I will see you all again next Friday with another video. Bye. That was a weird bye. 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 That was even terrible.